In this lab, we are going to install two virtual machines, one for Ubuntu Linux and one for Windows Server. The virtual machine manager we will use is VMware Workstation Player. On Tuesday, you should have downloaded this VMware Workstation Player and Ubuntu Linux and Windows Server. You should have them ready before this lab. Here I installed my VMware Station Player. I run it. It looks like this. Here, if you want to find uh, some preferences, you go to this file, preferences to set up some preferences, for example, close behavior, confirm before closing the virtual machine and so on. Here is the color type, so you, you can check this yourself. Now we are going to create two virtual machines, one for Ubuntu, the other one for Windows Server. Here I will install the operating system layer choose this one because I want to create a two empty virtual machine first one for Windows Server 2019 and this name just create a Windows Server 2019 and uh, I want to save it in my uh, external USB drive I want to create a new folder called VMS Quite a VS. The disk size, I would like to specify 100 gigabytes. I think in our lab here, 100 gigabytes and the two 100 gigabytes dynamic disk and the two gigabytes uh, memory. Split virtual disk into multiple files, choose the default option. Now I want to customize the hardware. Here is two gigabytes. It's called processor, two processors. The, the major customization is this part, network adapter. We need to choose VMNet 8. This is a net network. Or others just uh, leave it by default as default. So this is a summary. So if you take a screenshot, you, you just take the summary. That's good enough. All right, now I have uh, Windows Server 2019. I want to create a new one for the Ubuntu. Linux, Ubuntu, Ubuntu 64 bit. Here you scroll to see whether you we have the Ubuntu version, for example, Ubuntu Linux. You can have a look about your external USB drive to see what it looks like. You see here, actually to put uh, everything under this VMS, this is what I, this is not I'm intended for. So in this case, we need to create a new folder. So call it uh, Ubuntu. Just call it Ubuntu. 
So the disk size was 100 uh, gigabyte. Again, we need to change that uh, network adapter. Connect to a VM net eight. Okay, now I have two virtual machines. One is uh, Ubuntu, the other one is uh, Windows Server 2019. Uh, first, let's install this uh, Windows Server. So how do we install it? We need to put our ISO file into this uh, CD. So we use the ISO image. Browse the image you downloaded. Here is the Windows Server 2019 ISO. It's a washing machine. We need to click and the price enter to boot from CD. Here I remember uh, later, now my uh, Windows Server setting up is uh, started. Okay, choose the default option, click next, and install now. And now we will would like to choose the data center uh, version or standard evaluation version is up to you. I would like to choose the last one. Make sure choose the desktop experience to install the full GUI or the full Windows graphic environment. Accept the license terms. Choose install Windows only, the custom. Choose the disk, just click on next. Every now it will take about a half an hour to complete the installation. Okay, the installation completed. We start now. Please pay attention to the status bar. Control what will release your mouse from this uh, client uh, screen. As I boot it up, I will install the tools to enhance the performance.
Uh, excuse me. I have a password. Excuse me. Uh -huh. I have questions. Uh, what's your question? When installing the, um, the Windows servers, the Windows server, when I is try to install it, it asked me to input the Windows product key, but I don't have the product key now. You need to download the evaluation version. The evaluation version will not ask you for the evaluation version. The product key. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay, my installation created. You can click this button, send control what it plus deal to the virtual machine. Okay, now when my Windows server is set up. Now I want to install the tools to improve the performance. Can you see the performance is not good? I don't want to start up this one every time. So don't start server manager automatically and lock in. Now we install the tools. Okay, we need to go inside. This is a CD ROM. You see the VMware tools. Just choose a tickle.
ayağına restart tez başlamışım. Is this me? Professor, is this me? Uh -huh. I still have the problem that I uh, currently I just uh, evaluation license workstation, but it still need me to input Windows product key for Windows Server. Okay, let's uh, discuss a little bit later. You need to download the evaluation version. Yes, I use the evaluation version now. Maybe. Maybe we can. Okay. After installation, you will see my Windows Server 2019 data center evaluation is valid for 180 days. And during the installation, no installation key is needed. So this is my Windows Server. The installations are completed. Now I want to set up the firewall rules to make it uh, be able to, re to respond to the pin request. Go to the firewall settings, advanced settings. Under the inbound rules, we want to find the pin response. This is echo request. Enable the rule. For both IPv4 and IPv6. And now you will be able to pin your Windows Server. File sharing, file and printer sharing. That was some echo request. You will want may, may enable both. You will want to share files. Okay, we enabled four echo response. Two for the file and the printer sharing. The other two the virtual machine monitoring. Now we can have a try whether we can ping our uh, Windows server. And type your command prompt finds IP address, IP configure. You see the IP address is uh, 192.168.153.130. You can open a command prompt on the host machine and pin its IP address. You can see or get the echo, the reply from the our Windows Server. Okay, the Windows Server port is good. 
In a few spots in the flower settings of the guest room is silver. Install the guest tools. We are done the window silver. Now let's go go to the Ubuntu. Go to install the Ubuntu washing machine. Right click and uh, shut down to the window server. And now this time we are going to ins install the Ubuntu. Again, we, we need the as image. Now Ubuntu Mate 20.04.1 desktop AMD 64. And now we pull it up. For that a guest tour, let the demand later because we didn't install the Ubuntu yet. Okay, we install Ubuntu Mate. Choose the default settings. Normal installation, download updates while installing Ubuntu Mate. All right, just erase this can install Ubuntu Mate. And I continue. It's time zone, Chicago. So I instruct CIT program. Please choose your full name, your first name, type it here. Set a password. I let it log in automatically. Okay, the installation completed. Restart now. Remove the installation video, then press enter. Here, let's see where we could uh, remove the, yeah, remove. It's already removed.
Okay, now Ubuntu is up. Now let's install the guest tool. Okay, I guess to a pop up, how do we install this one? And William, where to upgrade? Go on this one. Right click, open a terminal window. Open in terminal. Have errors. You can see this command uh, is a program here. We have to do. VMware tool 64. Type the password you set up during your installation. Here, upgrade uh, failed. The installation is not installed this way. Let's try it later. First, uh, uh, we upgrade our system first. Not a click, open a terminal window. Type CD, go to your home directory. A quick way you can uh, open our course companion website inside. can just copy and paste these uh, commands.
Okay, the system upgrade is done. Now let's uh, run the set and force line to install the software. Okay, the third line of command is complete. Now insert the last, uh, copy the last line. Paste it here. Okay, all the required software is installed. Now let's install the tool, the guest tool. Here we copy this file. Go to our home folder. Let's uh, paste it here. And uh, extract here. Okay, we get a folder here inside this place. You'll see the VMware install. So we run this install. You can check this uh, text file to see how to install it. Open with Plumas. Pluma is a text editor. Here, how do we install it? So run this command. How do I install? and read this uh, menu. So we open a terminal window here. Just right click, open terminal. Type ls, you'll see that vmware dash install pair. Use sudo. Do you want to proceed with this installation? Yes. Recommends using open VM tools. So to use that open VM tool, I'll use this uh, VMware tools. VMware recommends using this open v VM tools. Okay, let's use this uh, commercial tool. Type yes. Which directory do you want to install the binary files? Choose the default folder. Use the bin. Press enter. Press enter. Press enter. Press enter. Choose all the default settings. And uh, probably the yes to create it. Just press enter. Yes, yes.
Brother Enter is yes. Now I'm going to want to enable common agent. So what is a common agent for? Okay, let's choose the default option. No. Okay, now it's done rejecting the device. Close this stuff. And the CD is here. This is already ejected. Already started the washing machine. Shut down. Choose restart. If you are new to Ubuntu, you may go through this introduction, getting started, and so on. Okay, this is more uh, Ubuntu. I complete the installation of Ubuntu. And also, that will be more tools. Now, step four. We go to step four. Show the net network network is working. Double click, open a terminal window, find its IP address. We use the uh, IF configure. That's A. IF configure and not found. Use IP A. If you want to use IF configure, you need to install this tools. So here we find it's a IP address. It's 192.168.153.131. So on the host machine, we can pin this IP address. Okay, you see the response is good. The network uh, works now. We want to ping from both virtual machines. Ping Ubuntu from Windows Server and uh, ping Windows Server from Ubuntu. So we need to run our Windows Server together. You can press shift key, right click, open a PowerShell window here. Okay, this is my PowerShell window. Inside this window, we can pin the Ubuntu. You see the response is good. We know our Windows server is 192.168.153.130.
you can configure again with IF uh, IP configure. Uh, this is the IP address of our Windows Server. So we can pin our Windows Server. Okay, you see the response is good. So the net network uh, worked. Control C to stop. Okay, we completed uh, this uh, task from Windows host. We can pin uh, both virtual machine, pin Ubuntu and pin Windows Server. And uh, from Windows Server, we can pin Ubuntu. We can also pin Windows Server from Ubuntu. Uh, we completed uh, step four. Now you may practice this command inside your virtual machine. Here is my uh, Windows Server. You need to disable some security features of your Windows Server. So we run the Server Manager. Choose your local server. And here, IE enhanced security configuration turned off, then we, we can download the software. Otherwise, we have trouble download software. With that, it's turned off, can refresh to your look. The IE enhanced security configuration is turned off. Now we can use this uh, IE to download Chrome browser. Okay, my Chrome browser is installed. Now we can go to our quarter of the component website. Go to labs, that's zero one. Scroll down for the review questions. Here, the uh, Windows commands. So right click, open in your tab. So I did the Windows command prompt cheat sheet. So you can practice all these commands. Open a command prompt from the window. And you can type the command inside this place. Here, this C is my C drive. User, administrator, module. These are the folders. Here, you type CD, means change the directory. You follow this command. There are show the contents and the current folder. Currently, I am, I'm on the administrator folder. Here, you can see the folders in the files inside of my administrator folder. You can use a CD to change the folder. Use a backwards slash means a root. You will go to this C top folder, the root folder. You can also go back 
to our users, the administrator folder. Here, MD or or MDL or MD or MKDL or create folder. So we can create folder, then use RM or RMDL or to remove our folders. For example, we can MD make a directory. Let's say test to DL or show the test is here. We can also use RM test. Now you see this RM is, is not a, a recognized command. Use RMDR test. Now it's removed. We can use the DR to confirm that test folder is gone. For other commands, you can follow these examples to practice all these commands. And the functionality of this command is explained here in the middle column, what it does. This is for the practice for Windows commands. Now let's practice these commands. Go to our want to virtual machine. Here, go to our code comparison website. Find the Linux cheat sheet. Here, the Linux command in mental. You can see there are lots of commands you need to uh, download and uh, zoom in to show the command. So you just uh, practice this command, follow this uh, memento. For example, it has a similar command. You use CD to change the folders. I just use CD, it will go back to my home folder. This is tilde, means my home folder. You use LS to list the contents of your home folder. For example, create a folder. We use a MKDLR test. You see there is a test for the shop. Now we can also use remove the error test is removed. You use LS to confirm it. The test folder is, is gone. This LS is similar to that uh, Windows command DIR. You can see these commands as MKDR or MDR on Windows they have the same name. So now you can follow this memento to practice all the commands. To take screenshot, you may uh, type several commands. If they all show in the same screen, then you can take a screenshot of those commands. But here you can only see this RM DR test. Okay, did the uh, lab zero one.